So let's start with the coordinate that we have fully. Y equals log base B of X. So let's start by typing in the Y coordinate, which is one third is equal to log base B. We don't know what B is, at least not yet, times, or excuse me, log base B of two. Of two. And we can figure out B by again raising these as exponents to base B. The log base B will cancel out and we'll just have B to the power of one third equaling two. And then to find B, we just raise each side to the power of three. So then the three times the third will equal one and we'll just have B. And on this side, two cubed, uh, two cubed will equal eight. So now we know what B is. Now we can find that X coordinate that we're looking for. So this time, Y, the new Y coordinate is two, equals log base eight, which we found out of k of k and then again raise these as exponents with base 8 8 to the power of 2 now equaling k and 8 squared is always c64 so we're done D64. Alright, moving right along here. Numerical response if log base 5 of x minus log base 5 of x minus 2 equals 3, then the value of x to the nearest hundredth is. Alright, so we have two separate logs this log and this log. <clears throat> and it's a subtraction of two logs. So what we're allowed to do is combine them and divide the inside, like the inside terms of the logs. So what this would become is log base five of x divided by, I'll put another bracket in here, x minus two. Maybe I'll use a square just to Just so it's clear. Oh my goodness. Yeah, log base 5 of this x divided by x minus 2. So, in other words, I just took that and I rewrote it as that. Because we have s subtraction of two logs, we can divide one divided by the other inside of the log. That's how it works. Equals 3. And now to get rid of this log, we raise each side as an exponent with base 5. So that's going to get rid of the log on this side. And we'll simply have this. And then on this side we'll have 5 to the power of 3. So here I'm going to do two steps in one. I'm just going to say x. Oh, what have I done here? I'm going to say x is equal to multiply both sides by x minus 2 so we have x minus 2 times so now we have to do some algebra x equals x equals 125x minus we just uh, expand the bracket 250 because we multiplied this into x and this into the 2, so it expands to that. And what we're left with, if we do two steps in one, uh, bring, subtract the x on this side, add 250 on this side, we get 250 equals 124x. And finally, x equals 250 divided by 124, 
what do they want it to the nearest hundredth so there we go 2.02 .02 is what we'd write <laughs> 